Hey you guys, so it's an thing art here. I'm gonna show you how I sketched this out in 30 seconds in order to create this. And also this one, I literally sketched this all out in 30 seconds. It was super fast. All right, so continue watching if you wanna see how I did it. You already know, it's an thing art. Today we're gonna talk about um, stenciling. So if you have a paint party coming up, I know a lot of people are using the pre-cut machines to do their stencils, but if you can't afford that and you're looking for a very fast and quick, easy way to stencil your canvases for paint parties, I have the trick. Say you're painting this right here and you wanna stencil the character out. You're gonna make sure that you have a traceable so this is my traceable here. You wanna print something out. So the way that I make this traceable here is I get transparent paper. Let me show you. This is why I got this from Michaels. And all it is is transparent paper. That's all it is in there, okay? So I get that, place it on the painting and I trace it. Then I take a photo of this and I edit it. So I have this here. So you're gonna need a traceable. Once you have that, you're also gonna need graphite paper. So that's the most important thing to do this. So this is graphite paper. You can even get it from Office Depot. It's also called carbon paper, okay? And it's black like this. Or you can just purchase it on Amazon. So I got this pack from Amazon and they're fairly cheap and the good thing is that you can reuse them. So the one I'm using today, I've already used it. You can see, you see the imprint on there, I've already used it. You wanna grab your canvas that you're gonna trace on for your sip and paints. You wanna grab your traceable and your graphite paper. So the graphite paper, make sure the black part is placed face down on your canvas like that and then place your traceable right over it. And then you're gonna grab, you can use a pen that has no ink, or you can also use like a mechanical pencil and just don't push out the lead. You can just use this part right here. And the impressions that you, from pressing down, make sure you're pressing down very firmly. Um, you don't wanna tear it, but just make sure you give it a nice firm trace. So the impression from that pressure is gonna seep through the graphite paper. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna see the traceable appear from here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and trace it and then we'll show you guys what I have. So I'm just gonna go and trace it all out. You can tape it down as well if you need more for grip. So I'm dragging it around. And if you're not sure what you have or haven't traced, you can always pick it up really fast and look. Okay, and then when you're done, pick it up and it's all traced okay, so out. That's it, you guys. Simple, very simple. This is, was a quick, really like a two minute process and you're good to go. So even if you're at a paint party or you're having whatever the issue may be, bring graphite paper with you if you have additional people that show up and you wanna trace it really fast. And again, this is very small. This is like a nine by 12. So I don't know if you're using 16 by 20s, maybe what you can do is piece together your graphite paper. So grab this one, grab another one and tape it together. So it's big enough for a 16 by 20 or whatever size you're using and trace it. It's so easy and so simple. And from here, what I would do is if there's any stray marks, I would just kind of erase it, clean it up, make it look nice for the guests and then outline it with a Sharpie. Okay. okay, you guys, so today I'm gonna show you a very easy way to censor your canvases. So if you have a paint party coming up and a lot of people do use the Cricut machine, but if you can't afford that, it can be expensive sometimes. I'm gonna show you an easy, really easy way. So this is what I'm gonna trace out. So if I had a paint party for this, what I would do is you can go to Michael's Hobby Lobby and get some transparent paper like this or even bigger ones like this, just transparent paper. 
And then you wanna use that transparent paper, sketch out your uh, canvas, sketch out the painting, and then you have this. And from there, this will produce a traceable. So I got the traceable from the stencil. So I have like a smaller version and I have a bigger version. So my bigger version, bigger version, I have to piece it together. So this is more for like a 16, 11 by 14. This is probably like an eight by 10. So we're just gonna use this one today, okay. So what you need to trace with it is graphite paper or carbon paper. So you can get it from even Office Depot. That's where I got this one. You can even get it from Michaels, not Michaels, uh, Amazon if you don't wanna wait. I got this in probably like a day, okay? All right, so let's do it. All right, so I have my paper. So this is just for demonstration purposes. This would be your actual canvas, okay? This would be your canvas. And then you're gonna need your graphite paper. But the thing is, you wanna make sure you place the graphite paper, the darkest side, the black side, see the difference, it's kinda of gray. The, blue, the darkest side, put it on your canvas. Okay, so we're gonna place it on our canvas. Then I'm gonna use my traceable, this here, and put it right on top, okay? And then I'm gonna grab something to trace it with. So preferably a pen with no ink, or you can just use a pencil with no lead. So I'm not gonna, push it up so the mechanical lead is coming out. I'm just gonna just use the pencil itself, okay? So this is in real time, so you're gonna see me actually tracing this. I'm not speeding it up. I'm gonna show you what it looks like just tracing this so easy, super easy. And it's fast too, because we all know as artists, sometimes it takes so long to stencil out so many canvases, especially if, if you have a big party. But this is so easy. Maybe you can have your kids doing some while you tackle the other half. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Again, I really want you guys to see the process, so I'm not gonna speed up anything at all. This is all real time right now. So I'm gonna keep going. Okay, you wanna give it some pressure because you want the graphite to actually show through so i'm giving it a little bit of pressure don't give it too much now don't take it overboard you don't want to rip anything okay sometimes you can peek to see if you have most of it looks like i do okay oh and the crown right over here so again i didn't speed this up at all i just want to make a point that i didn't speed this up so you can see how fast and easy this is Okay, I think we're ready for the big reveal. Let's see, are you ready? I'm ready, let's see it, y'all. Ta-da! Look how easy that was. So the reason why this happens because this is graphite. It's kind of like what's in here is transferring onto this, and that's all it is. Now you're ready for your paint party, so easy. And if you make like any mistakes, you wanna clean up something, just erase it. It's easily erasable and add on to it. If I wanted to puff a little bit bigger, just add on to it and you are good to go. Okay, so let me know if y'all have any questions. I'm ready to answer whatever you need. This is a super easy way, you guys. Don't try to make things hard for yourself. Make it easier. Get graphite paper and send out those canvases in like 30 seconds. All right, I'll see you guys in another one. It's an anything R. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I give tips on paint parties and tips to make you a better artist. If you like this content, please subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you guys in the next one.